So my name is Khurshid Alam. I work for AMRF, a Bangladeshi uh, research NGO in Dhaka. And I work in Dhaka. I, uh, my background is that I am a social scientist. So I do, I have been doing uh, quite some research on labor issue, environment issue, uh, workers' rights issue, and the uh, whole issue of trade justice for a while. I was active in uh, students' politics while studying at the university and also have the interest to look into the issue of the workers' rights and uh, uh, so that is how I, I got involved with the, uh, with the government workers' uh, issue and later on due to my professional um, reason I started uh, doing some research on the working condition, on the purchasing practices of, of the companies and, um, and the living standard of the workers and many other uh, issues uh, workers uh, want to achieve and uh, that is how, yeah. So I have, I have always been interested in, uh, in looking into the the, the issue of the workers, issue of farmers and so especially the working classes uh, demands and their their concerns. So on the one hand I'm an activist, you know, on the other hand uh, I, I'm a researcher so finding this combination together is, uh, yeah, it's, it's really Good for my work, and um, yeah, I I try to contribute to to this. So I I was involved in students' politics when um, while studying at the university, and later on, in May eighties, I got interested uh, working on the issue of the government workers. The main reasons um, was that I could see that large number of women are joining in the garment factory coming from the rural area which is not the normal phenomenon in Bangladesh for the women to to join in the in the in the, in the industrial sector in the manufacturing sector so I thought that this is very interesting area and uh, to be working on to do research to get connected with the sector and um, I think also that this women worker can make a bigger change in our society in terms of economy, in terms of uh, social changes, and in terms of uh, in terms of uh, their position in the family and in terms of their position in the society, economy. And this is now the largest uh, employment sector in Bangladesh government sector where more than 2.5 million worker work and of whom more than 80 percent are women so that really interest uh, that really made me made me interested to work on the on the government workers issue the minimum wage has been set up in 2006 that is far below than the than the living wage and it's only 1,662 taka per month for entry-level government workers, which you can convert it uh, into something 17 on, or 18 euro per month. Um, by earning 17 or 18 euro, one cannot live, uh, you know, one cannot have a decent life. Even one cannot have three substantial meals in a day. So it's, it's far below than the requirements of the government workers or anybody. So in that case, we really do not agree with the, with the legal minimum wage, what we have now, and also strongly demanding for revision of, of, uh, of the legal minimum wage, considering the fact that the inflation rate is very high and of the essentials. On the one hand, they, have, they are paid low wages. On the other hand, they have to cope with the inflation and the price hike of the essentials. So it's almost impossible for the workers to live 
with the amount they earn per month right now. So that is why this minimum wage, legal minimum wage is not really applicable. It's not, um, yeah, it's not the, the right, uh, right amount eh, for the workers to be living with what they are getting now. So mm -hmm. it should be increased first of all. Mm -hmm.